welcome to Tallinn. Over the next 48 hours, we set sail on the infamous Baltic Booze Cruise to explore the fairy tale alleys of Old Town, hit up Europe's best photo Christmas market, go back to medieval times for some wild food, glide over the ice like Tanya Harding, judge a gingerbread competition, and watch a Santa vs. Snowman dance off. I'm obsessed with Tallinn. Tallinn, you're chef's kiss. We are now all aboard the Tallink Express. It takes about two and a half hours to get from Helsinki to Tallinn. This is a really nice cruise ship. I was expecting to, that we would just be sat on plastic chairs in a row like a canteen and just wait it out. But no, it's fully decked. There's a fully stocked bar. There's seven floors on this boat. There is a Burger King upstairs. There is a little smoking deck out back. I don't smoke, but we'll take you out there in a little bit to show you. And I will give you the full tour in just a little bit when we all get settled in. But there is a bar here. Lee got us two drinks. Lee's beer was about seven euros. My drink was just a single rum and Coke with some lime. It was like. 13 euros so still on Helsinki prices here we're not in Estonia just yet so that'll just give you an idea to gauge what kind of money you'll be spending on the cruise ship but yeah we have a port side window so we should have some decent views along the journey let's do this all right guys it's a little dark and stormy not my drink my drink is a mojito and this is 12 euros so if you like your cocktails stick to that because it's the same price as cocktail as it is a spirit and mixer but this is what we're dealing with now a lot of cloud and a lot of waves and i don't lie when i was food for my drink i was getting sea legs so it was kind of green in the gills but he's got his quills i've got quills i have recently developed seasons we're in the last 15 minutes of the journey and this is the baltic sea all right guys we left it too late because we were enjoying our mojitos and our beers but basically there is a supermarket here there is a hair shop there's a perfume shop we're about to disembark now so i can't show you that but there's also a burger king and it is the only floating burger king in the world okay we can see talon from the windows let's head to talon when the snow falls outside you can hold me tight when it's cold through the night. We'll stay warm inside. Feel the fire burning, baby. Spend that record one more time. Cause we're gonna spend our Dancing in Christmas style. Chicken sausage, nine euro, and the glogi was five each. Mm. Good? Smoky flavour. Crispy on the outside. Really good. It's very good. It's getting cold so quickly though. It's so cold outside. This is nice. This is a blueberry one. Very nice. Oh, so it's not red wine? It's a blueberry wine. <laughs> with some nuts and citrus fruit and it's delicious and it's 15% alcohol for a fiver. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, we're gonna drink any of these before it gets cold. We'll show you more in the market in a bit. Guys, if you didn't know, Estonia, well not Estonia, more so Tallinn, was the very first city to put up a tree in the central market square. And then once they started doing this, the rest of Europe started copying and so on and so forth. But this right here is the OG and she's a beauty. <laughs> Alcoholic snack. I'm not sure how I feel about the nuts. I like them. Guys, if you didn't know, it's actually compulsory in not just Tallinn, in all of Estonia, to wear a reflector badge when it is late or you're on a dark road. Guys, this time we've gone for the OG Vanna Tallinn, 21%. My hair's on your chest. Broadly. She's got more, yeah, syrupy. Uh, syrupy. Syrupy, stronger, more medicinal. Yeah, I agree. The hair is in your chest. It's really good though. I definitely, if we could bring a bottle of this, hope we could black out. Maybe you just black out. Vanessa, if you're watching this, we're going to try to bring you home a bottle of this. Okay, bottoms up, guys. Living in Christmas style, that's right. Living in Christmas style. guys we're just getting ready to head out for our last day here on the trip i'm not sure if i mentioned this already but if you do plan on coming to finland or estonia during the december february january months i would highly recommend picking up some foot warmers and some hand warmers because today it is going to get up to minus eight or minus nine degrees we had these yesterday they came in super super handy so yeah definitely pick these up we took them through london stansted didn't have any issues getting them through security so 
pro hack from me. So we're just making our way to the old town and outside the Russian embassy here is all protests up and down on the gates. They've had to literally gate off the embassy. Very powerful stuff. Guys, there we are at Café de Pierre. This is down a little alleyway and all of these are just independent artisan shops. And little, uh, they do glass, they do jewellery, there's like antiques. It's all kind of home crafted goods here. It's gorgeous though it is. Look at this little alleyway. for a blueberry cheesecake kind of pastry and then because it is a chocolate here we've gone for a raspberry white chocolate and a caramel chocolate and we have the best few fresh blueberries like a cream cheese filling and a flaky filo pastry delicious the coffee is delicious we're now moving on to the chocolates oh yeah look at the middle of it it's very nice. It's a very subtle caramel flavor. I would definitely recommend this place though. It's so cozy. And also if you're here, pick our seat. We're right with the window and we have a radiator right here. Best seat in the house. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you. We've just stumbled across the gingerbread museum. Is there anything more Christmassy? I'm not sure if it's free. I'll let you know after we enter. But yeah, we have a gingerbread museum in Tallinn this time of year. <laughs> Let's go to gingerbread museum. Hi. Can we get two tickets, please? Uh, card, please. Gingerbread mania is an art exhibit with just one peculiar qualification. Everything must be made from gingerbread. Some of them haven't stood the test of Christmas. Some of them have broken. Hey guys, so it's 350 entry. You get your little sticker. You come in. The whole place smells like gingerbread. It's so Christmas and smelling. You have a look around. Every single one has a number. And then when you leave, you vote for your favorite. I don't know what the prize is. We should find out if we get a prize. which is basically like a kitchen appliance. It's quite a good price, isn't it? It's very good, very good indeed. I would recommend coming 350, it's very Christmassy. Very own little Santa's grotto in the middle of the park. Lee in the tree. Lee in the tree. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even joking. Every single corner that you turn here is more beautiful than the last. It's literally, it looks like it's made for a movie set. It's like, how could anything be this possibly beautiful and Christmassy at the same time? Everything, this church, this memorial. Santa's little grotto back there. A gingerbread museum. I'm obsessed with talent. Talent, you're chef's kiss. It's a commemoration of the Estonian War of Independence from 1918 to 1920 when Estonia became independent. This segment has been brought to you by Fun Facts with Lee. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, Tallinn's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is the best preserved medieval city in all of Europe. And right behind me we have the Defence Towers and now we're about to visit Alexander Nevsky's Cathedral. It is the last Russian Orthodox Cathedral in Tallinn. <laughs> Parliament building that I ever did see. Look, Christmas wreaths and like awnings covering all the windows and doors. 
beautiful. I'm telling you, just keep getting better and better. You shed a light that guides me home to my favorite place. Tell me it's freezing without telling me it's freezing. Guys, Mariah is calling to me. We are going to go ice skating. And when I say we, I mean me. Flashback to our conversation we had this morning about ice skating. You don't want to do it that badly. You need to like it. Now I'm just tall and <laughs> unproportioned in weight. <laughs> I don't think it's going to get any better. I'll be, your, I'll be your biggest cheerleader. This though. tall, unproportioned man doesn't want to go ice skating with Let me. Peter Crouch ice skating. <laughs> I'm a little bit shaky. <laughs> but I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know? I mean, I'm a little bit weak. Okay, we in the snow. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, we in the snow. Okay, we in the snow. I'm getting better now, aren't I? Yeah, you got a lot better. Street. It's 13 euro for one hour. Beautiful views of all the old town centre. We're gonna get over now to Noble Exeter down at the harbour and show you guys that. Too hot to handle. Got me feeling brand new. Blow it out like a candle. This ain't nothing but a sample. This that uptown boulevard, living large, avant garde, no charge. Rose gold, superstar, ready set on your mark. Here we are. Well, there you have it. Sana and Olaf are hip hop superstars. Save the animals, the talent, the wild animals. That was amazing. Guys, my lens is a little fogged up from coming inside the cold, but we've just got some like, beef noodles. Let me try some. The broth is so nice. This is literally just what you want on a cold day. It's spicy, it's got a good kick to it. Beef noodles, we've got some cilantro in there, we've got some cabbage, some lettuce. We also got a beef bao bun. Oh, that is so good. That's probably the fluffiest bao bun I've ever had. It's so fluffy, it's so lightly textured. There's a little bit of sriracha mayo on top, some crispy onion, cilantro, and nuts. That's delicious. So Guys, when I tell you that was the best food we've had this entire trip, that was the best food we've had this entire trip. If you're coming here, get the beef noodles, get them slightly spicy, and then get a beef bun as well. Obviously, if you're vegetarian, don't do that, but if you haven't, get it. It's so good. The staff are so nice. On to the next place. Alright guys, we are in Noble Lesser. This is a newer neighbourhood. It's an industrial neighbourhood down by the waterfront. So we're going to go check it out now. We are here at Igloo Park. Mother and child Holy infant so tender and mild Sleep in heavenly peace Sleep in heavenly peace Next, we hit a Pujala tap room with 24 taps of their home brew. And to go with their beer, they serve Texas barbecue. They also sell merch and beer in the shop. They offer brewery tours and they even have a private sauna for rent. So that was Pula, that is their own brew inside. Really nice stuff, really affordable drinks down in Noblesse. Hey, can we please have one ox rib? One ox rib. Yes, you can. <laughs> One moose pastry. Moose? Yes, please. Do you know that medieval people believe that if you eat a pastry or an animal which is from the forest, you be as wild. <laughs> This one, this one. <laughs> <laughs> and can we please get an elk soup? Elk soup, one. Yes, please. One light beer, one right? Light beer. Yeah. Light is for the boring people. <laughs> You're yeah. gonna be so wild, you need a dark one. 
<laughs> One of the light beer. Yes, and I, view is not drinking. I will take mulled wine if you have it, please. She's cray crack. Yeah. For you, I got to bone off the meat. Oh, so wow. To money. Amazing. <laughs> Can we play a tip on black magic? Yes. yes. I put you to the basement for three days. <laughs> you will never come out the same. <laughs> Tender? Soft tender. Like a little bit like beef. Do you know what tastes like? A hybrid between like beef and ham. Don't you think? Mm. Okay, we also got a uh, moose. I've never tried moose before. We got a moose pastry. Oh, cheers, it tastes it. It tastes like pastry. You try it. I can't get a taste of meat. It's pastry, right? It's like a very unseasoned yeah. sausage roll. So, see this. And see these ridges. The reason this is rich is because you eat with your hands. Your hands get greasy. And because it's clay and because it's rich, it means you can just grip with the cups. You can hold the cups. So that's what we did in medieval times because there was no cutlery. <laughs> what do we say? It's nice. Is it? It's hearty? It's like oxtail soup. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like minestrone. It's delicious. Guys, I fish for this pickle myself. We have the remainder of the elk meat and the vegetables. Okay, so in my opinion, the elk tastes like a hybrid between lamb and beef. It's very rich. I don't give you a spoon though, guys. You have to drink it every bowl. It's the riches. We did 38 euro for elk soup, ox rib, apple, moose patty, one large beer, one mulled wine. It's entirely worth it. The entire thing plays to live by candlelight. It's very nice. Everybody's a character. I would highly recommend it. After dinner, we did another lap of the Christmas markets where I met Santa and he gave me a cookie and some candy. Oh, Santa And that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas.